Let's find out the best center midfielders in FC Mobile and their cheap beast replacements. Well, to be honest, it's kind of complicated list to make because center midfielders comes in all shapes and sizes. There are defensive minded center midfielders. There are center midfielders who's gonna help you, you know, improve your passing ability and who's gonna do the playmaker job. There are center midfielders who's gonna play as an attacking midfielder and uh, you have to decide what is best for your team. But this video, we are going to be looking at the best center midfielders and I'm going to be explaining which center midfielder is good for what. Whether this center midfielder is good to help out your defense or it's going to be helping out your attack or it's going to be a you know, card who's going to make plays and stuff. So it's going to be a completely detailed video. Let's dive into the list. So first, let's say at number five, we have a defensive minded center midfielder. It's Patrick Vieira. You all know how good he is, uh, you know, this defending ability, the dribbling, passing, physical. Obviously, it's an amazing uh, center midfielder with all the position as a defensive midfielder. And he does have that power header, medium attacking walk rate, high defending walk rate. Obviously, he's going to help out the defense and obviously score those goals from corners. Next, we have a box-to-box -box center midfielder at number five. We have Valverde and... Uh, you know, stats obviously are amazing. He has that high attacking walk rate, high defending walk rate, three star skill moves, uh, four star weak foot, and alternate position right winger, right midfielder. Uh, obviously, those special traits are gonna play a very important role. Long passer, long shot take, or speed dribbler, outside foot shot. It's a good card. And now we have an attacking minded center midfielder, Sidorf. Obviously, he has that outstanding dribbling ability, but he's a little, little bit heavy on the ball. He definitely gonna help out uh, with his attacking walk rate. He's gonna help out your attack. The strength obviously gonna play a very important role. Speed is good. Long shot taker, he does score those long shot goals. High attacking walk rate, medium defending walk rate, first of skill moves, first of weak foot. Is an attacking minded center midfielder, but also you need to keep in mind that he's gonna put, he's gonna bring in the strength and physicality into your team. And uh, it's a good center midfielder and probably their chip beast replacement difficult to find. We have gone with Patrick Vieira, you know, definitely not a chip beast if we take a look at 61 uh, million coins, but his base price is definitely cheap. And the stats are obviously amazing. Same as what uh, these, uh, you know, 100 of your Patrick Vieira offers. But, you know, he is kind of cheap. If you consider, you know, these things, you know, only 6 million, probably even cheaper than that. Yeah, 5 million. Uh, it's not a big difference though. But, you know, he is definitely a cheap beast. Number 4 for me, it was a pretty obvious choice. I have gone with the latest addition in FC Mobile. Marchisio and uh, you know defending I've probably gone with passing you know passing is really really good and 147 passing definitely gonna make that impact he's a ball playing defensive midfielder in disguise he can play as a defensive midfielder and you can see his long shot taking ability long passer and flare some amazing special traits to have in your team high high defending walk rate forced of skill moves forced to weak foot and you know, you don't know about this card. He is one of the smoothest dribblers in game. Definitely a worthy card. And his cheapest replacement, I have gone with Pedri. And it's because, you know, he has that similar kind of ability. He is a very good dribbler. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for someone who is going to be doing those dribbling stuffs, he's going to have amazing ball control. Pedri is the card. Pfft. I mean, there are better cards in game, but... Uh, he adds uh, to a unique breed of uh, center midfielders that adds the all-round ability. Has that high defending walk rate, high attacking walk rate, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. Solid player, a long passer. It's a good card and it's a cheap card, the important thing of all. Number three, it's gonna be belly goal and uh, nothing much to say. The tier 2 card is absolutely fire. Definitely the dribbling, he has that all-round capability. High attacking walk rate, high defending walk rate. Alternate position as a defensive midfielder, I think he can actually be a very good attacking midfielder. Dives into tackle flair, it's definitely a decent card. Nothing much to exaggerate about this card. We're gonna go for his chip beast replacements. Well, uh, I was thinking Sobo Sloy might not be a proper replacement for him. 
Medium, medium walk rate, but he is definitely a decent card who is gonna be outstandingly good at you know dribbling. It's a unique card and he has that you know special traits: shellfish, anti crosser, flair, long shot taker, outside foot shot. Definitely a very good centre midfielder. Four star skill moves, four star weak foot, alternate position as an attacking midfielder. And if you are looking for a defensive minded replacement, Michael Balak. Yeah, both his uh, you know 94 of your card. And uh, this card with uh, 94 OVR after trained, powerful driven uh, free kick, long shot taker, power header is, is a very good combination. Don't go by these stats, he plays much much better than these stats. Medium attacking walk rate, high defending walk rate. Don't score those headers from corners, first a skill moves, first a week for one of the unique cards in FC Mobile. Number 2, it's pretty obvious, Kevin De Bruyne. And uh, come on, what I'm gonna say, 153 passing, 130 dribbling. 94, 107 strength, okay, 110 pace, alternate position as an attacking midfielder, leadership, long passer, long shot taker, playmaker, outside for shot, high attacking walk rate, medium defending walk rate, one of the best cards in FC Mobile, one of the smoothest cards in FC Mobile, and his chip beast replacement probably is gonna be Milinkovic Savic, yeah, he can be a replacement of Rude Gullit as well, but yeah, he has that 5 star weak foot, once again high attacking walk rate, medium defending walk rate, Al Hilal defending, yeah, can do that. Power header, outside foot shot, definitely one of the chip beasts in game. Well, number 1, anyone say it? We have Root Gullit, Gullit, how to pronounce his name, I have no idea, 121 pace, 140 shooting, 130 passing, 120 dribbling, 120 defending, one of the best all-round cards, if not the best card in FC Mobile's history. And he has that high attacking walk rate, high defending walk rate. I mean, come on. He can play anything. He can do everything. He's just that guy. He is the man. And his chip beast replacement is going to be he himself. Because, I mean, I have no idea. You, you're probably going to take uh, some muscle runners to get him into this position. But we're going to take a look at his potentials. It's just too good. The main problem of this card is that it has no problem and it has medium defending walk rate unlike his uh, you know, main version. It's a good card. So guys, that was pretty much the list. It was a very difficult list to make and to put together because obviously different people have different preferences when it comes to uh, what they want from their center midfielders. But I think it's, it's a pretty decent list and you know, different types of center midfielders has been covered.